The record is 0-2. Of course, we've run against some pretty good teams, Indiana University and Indiana State. And then uh, Taylor edged out by two points uh, about four weeks ago when it was still early in the season. Who you got coming up on the schedule we can look forward to? Uh, we can look forward to Western Michigan, Ohio University, Miami University, Kent State, Eastern Kentucky, uh, which of course are all powerhouses in the Mid-American and in the southern part of Ohio. Now you're going to have a new track out here. Can you tell us a little bit about that facility? That's going to be pretty nice. Yes, I'd be willing to say it's probably, uh, if not one of the best track in uh, the Midwestern uh, part of the country. It's nine 48 inch lanes. It looks like a super highway out there, really. And it's all weather. It has what they call a 13% rubber base. It's um, wonderful to run on. We've been working out on it, and we've yet to have a sore leg on it. It's a fantastic thing. Rain, shine, doesn't make any difference. We can still run on it. Now, where's that located for some of the people who may want to come out and catch a track meet? Uh, That's in the section just north of the new football stadium, right behind the scoreboard. It's uh, very easy to get to. Uh, just park as you would for a football game and come in the, the north gate of the football stadium. How long did your season run, the track season? Uh, including the NCAA, we'll probably go up through June 14th this year. Of course, we have Dave Kerr, who will definitely represent us at the NCAA. And uh, our regular track season is over with uh, the last week of, uh, no, excuse me, the second week of June. We'll get our last dual meet in. Well, I think there's quite a bit more interest now in track and field events now that the Olympics get uh, on television quite a bit and some people want to see some good track and field and come out here to Ball State see it right in their home hometown, right? That's very true. We have, with the teams we have coming in, not only our own All-American and our one national champion, but uh, there is a grand total of nine NCAA champions and about 12 All-Americans that will be performing on our track this year. We've got a new track and some good stars. Some good stars. All we need is a few more horses. <laughs>